eight man expert Devin Albertson. Devin, nice to see you. You're at home. It's just you and me today. Yeah, it's a good time. There's no Chris. We had a little more fun tonight. Yeah, I agree. And uh, I know you were at a game, but not not many eight games playing today. So just for those that did play, any thoughts on on those games? Yeah, first of all, nice win for the Cab tonight. Get their second win of the season. Always nice to see the Tigers get a win there against Southwest Livingston. Got a tough game next week versus Oric, but good for that program to get two wins on the board. Then the game that I was at tonight, Stanbury, Nottoway Valley, uh, really fun first half, 40 to 34. Stanbury lead at halftime. Uh, they outscored the Thunder 34 nothing in the second half. They control that game, but a really fun first half in that one. And always fun to watch Tucker Sheber and Gavin Cameron on the ball for Stanbury. They're two really good running backs there for the Bulldogs. So a couple of fun games tonight. South Bolt, uh, did what they're supposed to do versus Mountain City. Got a 56-6 win there. So they get a rematch with Platte Valley next week. To, uh, a lot of the fun things happen in District 4. Um, and again, the big one next week at the East Ash and Albany game. I'll be at that one. That one should be a lot of fun. Yeah, and you mentioned District 4. And that, I mean, now we see the bracket. I, I was taking only your word for it until I looked at it. And I was like, wow, those are the first round matchups. So what do you think, I mean, these teams need to do to secure a spot the following week? Yeah, so um, I think North County and Platte Valley in the bottom side of the bracket, they're both pretty heavy favorites in those games on there. Their biggest thing is get up early, get some rest for your healthy for your star players there, make sure they're healthy going to that big game the following week. And then Albany East Ashton is just going to be a, uh, just a great game there, like really good defense for EA. Then Albany with Kemper Klein and company, that explosive offense should be a lot of fun in that one. Um, I'm really looking forward to that game. And then North Andrew, get a rematch with Stanbury. And Stanbury, they can have some matchup issues that North Andrew has to deal with second time around on there. So it's always interesting to see those two teams that have been rivals for a long time play each other again. So it's definitely going to be a fun week in District 4 next week. Yeah, we just have a little under 45 seconds with you, Devin. And uh, like you mentioned, get up early, stay healthy, just – I mean, obviously, it's very big that now you're in the playoffs. you got to ensure that your starters are healthy. So is there any team that you kind of see might have their hands full next week that we may have thought earlier on? Um, I'm not sure with hands full. I know we're just looking at EA Albany game, just kind of those two teams, how they match up with it. Because East Edson, they have a big defensive line on there. And Sonata is one of the fastest players in the state, not just uh, 40 time, but like his just quickness in and out of cuts is just really impressive. So... We'll see how Albany kind of handles him. But then on the other side, how do they handle Kipper Klein with uh, Bunsen and Davis and company there for Albany? So I'm just – I'm giddy for that game next week there between East Atchison and Albany. So I'm really excited to see how that – you don't usually see a top eight matchup in the first round of playoffs kind of like that in Missouri Indian football. So it should be a really fun matchup there between the Wolves and the Warriors.